Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over kind of the, the tools that I've used, the art supplies I use for caricaturing. And uh, these are art supplies that a lot of uh, other caricatures that I have met through conventions and work, the, these are the same tools that they use. So I am going to go over it. Some might be of value, some might not be. Uh, first things first is I'm going to go over the marker. And the marker that I, I really don't use this anymore, but the marker that I started out using was this marker. It's called a Marquette. They give it to you when you uh, essentially work in any theme park. You know what I mean? A lot of guys really like it. I'm not really sure why. I, I think it's just a tapered edge, but a lot of them do have that tapered edge. It just kind of worked for our job. And these are not available in the store as far as I've seen. They are only available through theme parks. And even now, they don't they don't give them to you in the theme park anymore. So that's kind of kind of gone but I didn't want to show it to you I don't I don't even really use it anymore because all of my markers are like that one's okay right now a little bit but they're pretty much dead they're all dried up and eventually there'll be none so there's really no reason but I will tell you what I've been using in substitution in substitution and I believe a lot of theme parks do this I'm not sure if which ones right now but they use this thing right here and this is called a char pack uh, fine tip marker it's super uh, it's called super black uh, they do sell this in stores and it has a similar tip. See how it has a tapered tip right there? That's kind of what a lot of the guys want. They want a tapered tip so they can kind of have control of the marker. See, it doesn't look any different than the other one. So I know a lot of guys do use this marker. I don't know how expensive it is, honestly. But uh, I know they do sell this. And sometimes I use this. You know, The other thing I will say... Let me have the two right there. The other thing that I use a lot is... There's another marker I use as well. There's this one, the Copic marker. The Copic marker, they're pretty good too because they have two edges. They have a kind of a big fat edge right here. And they also have this kind of uh, tip, this really thin tip. Almost every one of their markers has that. This is expensive. This comes usually in a pack. This is a Copic. <coughs> Copic marker. Um, and like I said... I use these sometimes, but what I really use, I would say, the most is the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest thing you can use. And that would be a... Where am I? Where am I looking at this? Where is that marker? Oh, there we go. It is a Sharpie. Regular Sharpie that you can buy at the dollar store. I'm sure you've seen these, right? This is just a fat version of a regular Sharpie. And it also has kind of a tapered edge. It's not quite as tapered as some of these other ones right here. For example, look at the... Ugh, compare the two edges. It's a little more pointed, this one. But uh, there's several Sharpies that are pointier than this. You know what I mean? So I, 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 this one's kind of dry. But I've literally done characters with Sharpies. It's a little bit harder to get those edges. Like, I'm sorry, that line variation with this. But it's still possible. And it's not really a big deal in any way. I know some of the guys that I work with now that they're out of work, uh, they uh, work outside of a theme park. They use straight up magic markers, like not even joking. They will use magic markers, so it's not a big deal what you use. You know what I mean? But I would say in any case, get a marker with a uh, pointed tip that kind of tapers. You know what I mean? That you can you can get fat edges with it. Sorry, again, that's not a dead marker, but normally I'd be able to get a really thick at, thick line, and I can also get a thin line, and I can go from thin to thick as I want to, you know, as I press down. But just any marker that does that should be completely fine, guys. Should be great. You know, I get that question a lot, what marker to use. Uh, I'm, I want to have this video as kind of a reference, you know, video. So let me go over what else I use. Um, I This is my art bag. Uh, I showed it to you a second ago. But, uh... I carry my colors in here. And these are the colors that I, you know, when I do do color, sometimes they request color, I, I will use these things that are available in stores. And they are called, I believe they're called Prismacolor Art Sticks. Prismacolor Art Sticks. And see how they're, a lot of these are really used up from years of using them. They last forever, as far as I'm concerned. Well, it depends. Because some of the, it depends. Some colors, for example, the beige. You know what I mean? You're going to be using this kind of beige peach for people's skin a lot. You know what I mean? And that one goes fast. You know what I mean? I remember using at least, you know, like, so when you buy a pack of them, you're going to have, like, 
sky blue, it'll be totally full like this. But uh, the the peach will be gone. You know, it'll be totally gone. The red will be there. Like this is like maybe the first red I ever got like five years ago, and it pro it still works. <laughs> you know, I still have it. Same thing with the yellow. Um, you know what I mean? They're they're really fun to use. They come like this, I believe. Uh, they come in plastic when you get them. Uh, they do come in a box set. What I'm gonna do for these though is I will link it uh, the Amazon link below, and you guys can if you want you can buy them. But I don't really know what else. I mean they're I don't know they're semi expensive. I don't know a cheaper alternative. Uh, I don't know what else other guys. I don't think I've seen other guys color with anything else. I've seen guys try to color with crayon and it's weird. You know what I mean? But and this all oh, by the way if you want to know what this is, this is basically. The inside of a colored pencil. That's it. This is just what I've heard. This is the inside of a colored pencil in without the, all the wood and stuff like that. And you can kind of like, I'll, I'll show you. There'll be another tutorial on how to use these col how to use colors in general. See, look at the purple. Those are the same two purples I've used for years, years, guys. Some of these things last for years, except for some primary color. Black will go inst. Oh, that's not black, but. The black, oh yeah, that was the problem. I can't tell the black from the uh, dark blue sometimes. But the black will be gone instantly. Yeah, see, that's the black. See the black and the dark blue? They look identical, right? Anyways, I'll link it below. Uh, if you guys have any more questions on what to use, but this is this is all I ever used for character. And I've been caricaturing for like eight to 10 years. This is all I've ever used. That's it. You know, the paper, if you guys want to get paper for jobs, uh, this is uh, tabloid computer print paper. They sell this in reams. It's 11 by 17, and they sell this at every Office Depot. You know, Office Depot is uh, in the U.S. I mean, that's like a store in the U.S. And uh, they're real. The paper is dirt cheap. Paper is dirt cheap, but that's a caricature paper I use. So the paper, the markers, the colors. You know, I have a little bag to carry it in. You know, um, that's about it guys if you guys have any questions on what else I mean I don't think there's really any other tool uh, that I use but uh, anyways if you guys have any questions let me know below alright guys thanks a lot click the link below if you guys want to buy these little crayon things they're not mine you know <laughs> I'm just saying I recommend these so alright see you later guys